Hi boys and girls, Miss Silva here. I'm going to be the new YouTube star for the next unit of math. Like I mentioned last week, our new unit of math is going to be three digit addition with base 10 blocks. And we should all be familiar with using base 10 blocks because we've used them a lot this year to help us in math during our math centers. So in order for you to be prepared for this lesson, you're going to need a few things. So before we begin, I'm going to show you what you need. You will need two pages from the packet. The first page is the Base 10 Betsy poster. It looks like this. Base 10 Betsy, that's the skill that we're going to be using today. So you need that from the packet. And you need this page from the packet. It says Lesson 1, page 41 at the top. You'll need that from the packet. You will also need some scissors, a pencil, and possibly some scratch paper. So before we go ahead, I want you to pause the video. I want you to get from your packet, whether you picked it up from El Toro this week or printed it at home, you're going to need the Base 10 Betsy poster, the Lesson 1 page, there's Lesson 1 at the top, page 41. You will also need some scissors, please get those carefully, a pencil, and possibly some scratch paper. So please go ahead and pause the video now and get those materials. Lesson, we're going to learn to add two three digit numbers by using base 10 blocks. That is our first lesson in this new unit. So let's review real quick. Remember a three digit number is made up of hundreds, tens, and ones. So for example, 253 has two hundreds, five tens, which equals 50, and three ones. So we're gonna review our base 10 blocks. One cube counts as one, one ten long counts as 10, and one hundred flat counts as 100. So our first problem is what is 341 plus 156? So when I like to use big numbers like this to add, I like to set it up in a hundreds, tens, and ones chart. It helps me when I use base 10 blocks to know exactly how many I need to draw in each column. So I'm breaking up 341 into three hundreds, four tens, and one one. And I am adding 156 to that number. So I know that in 156, there is 100, five tens, and six ones. So now here is a little bit bigger hundreds, tens, and ones chart so I can draw in all those base 10 blocks that we need. So here's 341. I have three hundreds, four tens, and one one. I am adding 156, so that is 100, five tens, and six ones. Now that I have both numbers set up in base 10 blocks, all I have to do is count up each column to find out the total. So I have four hundreds, nine tens, and seven ones. So 341 plus 156 equals 497. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna do another example. The next three digit number I'm going to add is 318 plus 241. So my first step is to break it up 318 into base 10 blocks. And as you can see here, I have my hundreds, tens, and ones chart to help me visually when I add all my numbers and base 10 blocks together. So first we're gonna break up 318. And 318, there are three hundreds, one, two, three, in 318, there is how many tens, boys and girls? Excellent. One ten. And how many ones? Eight. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, next I'm going to write 241 in my base 10 blocks. There are two hundreds. There are how many tens, boys and girls? Excellent, four tens. And how much is four tens? 40, excellent. So there are four tens. 
and there is one, one. Now that I have my problem broken up in base 10 blocks, I can add each column to get the answer. So we're always gonna start in the ones column. So I have eight ones plus one is, how many boys and girls? Eight plus one is, excellent, nine. Eight plus one is nine. I have four tens plus one ten, so four plus one is five. And I have two hundreds plus three hundreds, so how many hundreds is that, boys and girls? Excellent, five. So our answer, 318 plus 241 is 559. 559. All right, boys and girls, we're going to do one more example together before you go ahead and practice on your own. So this problem we're going to, it's going to be a little different than the first one, so I want you to pay attention and see what you notice. So our next problem is 348 plus 234. So we need to break up 348 into our base 10 charts. So we have 300s, we have four tens, one, two, three, four, and we have eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 348, we've broken up into base 10 blocks. Now we need to add, break apart 234 on our base 10 chart. So in 234, there are 200, there are three tens, and there are four ones. So now that we have all our information organized in our base 10 chart, all we need to do is add. So we always start at the ones. So I have eight ones plus four. What is eight plus four, boys and girls? Well, excellent. Eight plus four is 12. We have three plus four, which is seven tenths. And we have five hundreds. All right, boys and girls, so once we have all our information on our base 10 chart, we have 500, 7 tenths, and 12 ones. But if you remember, we can't have 12 ones, so we need to do something which is called regrouping. This means we need to regroup 10 ones and trade them for one 10. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a different color marker. We have eight ones up here, so I'm gonna take two of these to make 10 up here. So now we have 10 ones. Now that I have 10 ones, I can trade them for one 10. So I'm gonna add this extra 10 over here. This now leaves us with 500. Instead of seven tens, this leaves us with eight tens, and instead of 12 ones, since we regrouped, this leaves us with just these two ones left over. So our answer is 582. This is called adding with regrouping. Boys and girls, so now it is time for you to practice adding three digit numbers using base 10 blocks. So like I said earlier at the beginning of the lesson, you needed to have your Base 10 Betsy poster, that's the strategy that we're using today. You can use base 10 to make both numbers and then add them together. So this is just a nice little visual to have next to you while you're working. And you also need to have this page that says lesson one, page 41. If you can see each picture, in each square there are pictures of base 10 blocks with a letter in the bottom left corner. So your job is going to be to cut all six of these squares out. So I'm gonna stop the video. I want you to pause the video right now and I want you to cut out all six squares. All right, boys and girls, so now you should have cut out all six squares. Okay, so like I said, each square has a letter in the bottom left corner. So what you're going to do is you're going to find both squares that have the letter a in the bottom left corner, both squares. You're going to, using the strategy we just learned with base 10 blocks, 
add these two cards together. If you don't have enough room, um, I don't think there will be enough room on the back. So that's why I said if you needed scratch paper, that's totally fine to use scratch paper. You're going to take the two cards that have A, add them together to get an answer. You're going to then do the same thing with both cards that have letter B in the bottom left corner. And then you will finally do it with the last set of cards, which have a letter C in the bottom left corner. So you're going to add these two numbers together using the hundreds, tens, and ones chart in the base 10 blocks we just learned about. So I want you to go ahead, pause the video now, have your base 10 Betsy poster next to you if you need to. I want you to solve these three problems and we will come together and I will share the answers with you after. All right, boys and girls, now that you have had time to practice those three problems, I'm going to review the answers real quick for you guys. So I'll start with the two squares that had letter A. So it was these ones, letter A. So this first square had 200, 200, two tens, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. The other letter A had 300, two tens, and seven ones. So when I add all of those up, I should have got 552. So I always start my ones column. Seven plus five is 12. Two plus two is four. And three hundreds plus two hundreds is five. But as we can remember, we can't have 12 ones. So we need to do something called regrouping. We need to make this a set of 10 ones to trade for a 10. So I'm gonna take these five ones, add them up here to make this 10. I'm gonna trade these 10 ones for this 10, add it over here. So now I have five hundredths. Instead of four tens, I have five tens, and I'm left with two ones. So my answer is 552. That's for letter A. Letter B, we'll go over and do the same thing. Let me find my eraser real quick. All right, for letter B. All right, letter B, boys and girls. We have 239, so 239 plus 154. 154, this is for a letter B. So I'm gonna write it in my hundreds. I'm gonna break it apart, 200, 39, three tenths, and nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm going to break apart 154. 100, five tenths, and four ones. Okay, so now that I have all my information, I just need to add together. So we have nine plus four, nine plus four boys and girls is 13, excellent, 13. I need to add my tens, five plus three is eight, excellent. And 100 plus 200 is 300. So once again, we can't have 13, so we need to, what do we need to do boys and girls? Do you remember what it's called? Regrouping, excellent. We need to trade 10 ones for one 10. So I have nine ones up here. I'm gonna take one of these ones, bring it up here to make a 10. I don't have that anymore. So I'm gonna take these 10 ones, trade it over here for another 10. And now I have 300, nine tens, and I'm left with three ones. So my answer 239 plus 154 is 393. 393.
That is for letter B. Last but not least, boys and girls, is letter C. We have 342 plus 152. So letter C, we have these two. 345 plus 152. So I'm going to draw that down here. 345, we have three hundreds, four tens, one, two, three, four, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to break apart 152 on my base 10 chart. We have 100, we have five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and two ones. So now that I have all my information lined up, I just need to add the columns, always starting with the ones. So five plus two, boys and girls, is excellent. Seven, five plus two is seven. Five plus four, five plus four is nine, excellent. 100 plus 300 is 400. So our answer is 497. And since this number is not greater, then 10, we do not need to regroup. So our answer is just 497. All right, boys and girls, so this was our first strategy for adding three digit numbers today. Base 10 Betsy is our first strategy. And our next lesson will be learning about a new strategy called Number Line Niles. Can't wait to share with you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.